Hello, good day, everyone. I hope everything is going well with you, and I welcome you back to our subject, Purposive Communication Using English in Multilingual Context. And I hope that you are in a comfortable seat wherever you are watching this pre-recorded video. So let's proceed with our next discussion in lesson, uh, in lesson two, which is all about the blog, okay? So we are done with the explanation essay that we all know that an explanation essay is a paper in which your objective as a writer is to explain something to your reader. Okay, so now let's proceed with our lesson two, which is all about the blog, not the vlog, okay? <laughs> so let's start with the learning outcomes of our lesson two. First is to differentiate between the journal or a diary entry and the blog. <laughs> to appreciate the benefits and challenges of writing a blog, to write a blog of at least 500 words on any topic of your choice. And I think dili na nato na siya ma-apply kaniya to ang last objective. Okay? Para masig nangaratol na mo din ha, masig nabukatan na mo sa activities. Okay, let's proceed with our writing a blog. Today, with easy access computers and the internet, people write diaries differently. And from handwritten entries on a piece of paper or a notebook page, diaries in contemporary world or contemporary times come in the form of online journals, which are called blogs. Okay. Take note that in 1994, then ha, in 1994, when blogs began, a blog was more of a personal diary that people shared online. And I think some of you na ay blog nga website or account. So in this online journal, you could talk about your daily life or share about things that you were doing. Then people's uh, then makita na siya sa mga tao and people saw an opportunity to communicate information in a way uh, in a way using online platform especially a kaninga blog okay and the term blog was first used in the 1990s it is a short version of web blog or an individualized piece of written work found on the web and displaying information in reverse chronological order with at least post appearing first at the top. Thus, uh, a blog it is a platform where a writer or a group of writers share their views on an individual subject. Okay, and blogs like diary entries are individual accounts of a writer's experiences and emotions. Thus, the viewpoint is usually personal or subjective. Next, however, blogs are different from the traditional journal or diary entry in the sense that Blogs are uploaded to online platforms that make it easier for the bloggers to include visual features as well as links to other sites on the net. Okay? Mahala siya ang blog. Blogs are uploaded to online platform. Unlike diaries or blogs are public in nature. This means that bloggers even if they write about personal issues, they must present these issues in a way that would interest the general public. Okay? And blogs compared to diaries entries 
are more concerned with communicating a message rather than simply expressing or documenting an idea or emotion. But the question is, what is the purpose of a blog? Sige. The main purpose of a blog is to connect you to the relevant audience. Another one is to boost your traffic and send quality leads to your website and the more frequent and better your blog posts are. The higher the chances for your website to get discovered and visited by your target audience. Okay. So how does one create a blog? So if you wish to have an account, go to wikihow.com and look up how to start a blog. The site provides step-by-step -step instructions and how to create a blog from coming up with a concept. And again, huh, it's up to you if you want to create a blog. It is not a requirement, but if you wish to have one, then go to, uh, to wikihow.com and look up how to start a blog. Okay? To sum it all, a blog is the online equivalent of a journal or a diary entry. And that's the end of our discussion in Unit 4, Lesson 2, the blog. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening. I hope you learned something new today. And thank you once again. See you next time.